Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that will be linked with a January transfer move to Arsenal. Now today, a lot of the rumours once again centre around Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Watch, as we call it. Um, until it gets sorted out, it's going to persist. Day in, day out, day in, day out. We've got to get this deal done. It's the most important deal that Arsenal need to do to stop these rumours from circulating around. Um, the rumour today is about Ivan Perisic. Um, listen, he's a very good player, plays for Inter Milan. He was brilliant in the Euros. 27 now, plays for Croatia, as I said. And um, Gazzetto Dello Sport today claiming that Inter Milan, who are now in Chinese ownership, so they got a lot of money sloshing around, are willing to sell Perisic to fund getting Alexis Sanchez, right? That's what they want to do. If not, there's other outlets out there, the alternatives who are saying, actually, no, Arsenal want to buy Perisic and would use Alexis even in a swap. Now, again, I just cannot see... Alexis Sanchez is Arsenal's prime, prime asset. Alexis Sanchez is way better than Perisic. So why would you want to swap him? for Perisic and Perisic is a you know more essentially a winger Alexis has proved this season that he can play as a striker he's a top um, goal scoring striker in the Premier League at the moment we know how expensive it is to get strikers and I think that this guy can be our striker can be that striker that we've been looking for for years and years and years why would we want to sell him why are we not tying him down is a frustrating thing for me this hardball stuff and standoff stuff for me, it doesn't make sense because if he was to sell Alexis and to go and try and buy somebody of the equivalent, and to me, an equivalent to Alexis is you've got to be going for someone like Griezmann or somebody like that, it's going to cost you £80 million and the wages are probably going to be even higher. So hold on to what you've got that's working right now. It just doesn't make no sense to me. But as I said, until we time down, these rumours will persist. Like the rumour... This in the mirror today that has emerged yet again about Miralem Pjanic, 28 years of age, a Juventus player. We've spoken about it before. Uh, Don Ballon now, um, another outlet over there in Italy, are claiming that Arsenal, um, you know, this rumour once again, that Arsenal are willing to use Alexis Sanchez as bait to get Pjanic. For me, absolutely ridiculous rumour. Um, Again, Pjanic, good player. Why would we want to use our best player to get somebody who's not as good? And I think uh, a lot of this is mischief making from the outlets over there in Italy. Um, you know, Pjanic, um, Juventus player. So, you know, they're trying, to talk, they're trying to talk it up, maybe to try and get him a move. Listen... I just can't see these rumours, but as I said, the problem at the moment is rumours will persist until we get this deal done. It is so vital, I feel, for Arsenal's future to sign up Alexis because it will say a lot about who we are. Are we what we promised, or what should I say, not what we promised, but what the powers that be promised that when we went into the Emirates Stadium within about 10 years' time, we will be like the Bayern Munich of England. That is what their dream was. That is what their aim was. They were like, we're going to turn this club into a similar model like Bayern Munich where we can get the very best players, where we'll be full of world-class players and also develop world-class players. If we sell Alexis Sanchez, as far as I'm concerned, then that would have failed. That would have failed. That would have told me that the club has not progressed from moving to the stadium that we're still a selling club. We must get Alexis and also Mesut Ozil sorted out ASAP, just get this negativity away. We've still got a fighting chance in this Premier League this year. You know, Chelsea are running away with it, but we've still got our chance. Why do we let this rubbish persist around the club? I really do not know. Um, talking of fake news, I mean, the best, one of the best rumours over the past couple of seasons and... It's all come up again with Arsenal playing Burnley. Has this been this one about Joey Barton? Now, Joey Barton, um, as you know, you all know Joey Barton is. He's uh, gone back to Burnley after his very unsuccessful spell at Rangers where he upset the whole dressing room. 
um, with his antics. Now, Joey Barton has always made this claim that Arsene Wenger tried to sign him for Arsenal. He's made it in various interviews. He said it in his autobiography that Wenger tried to sign him. Wenger has denied it before. He's come out again uh, yesterday and denied it again. And it's, this is Wenger's quote. He said, I've been contacted many times to take Joey Barton, but he was never close to signing. Now, Joey Barton, shut up, will you? You was never going to be an Arsenal player. Simple as that. Maybe it was your dream. You know, I remember at the time there was people saying, because Joey Barton's kind of a bit of a hard man or perceived hard man in midfield, there was a lot of people saying, yeah, why not get someone like a Joey Barton? He could add a bit of steel to that midfield because that was the days when we never really had a proper defensive midfielder and we always used to get bullied a lot. And so people were suggesting bringing in Barton. But Wenger said clearly, get this into your head now, Joey Barton. He's clearly said it now on numerous occasions. I did not want to buy you, Joey Barton. Never. So forget it, all right? Fake news, as Donald Trump says. Fake, right? Uh, Football Billionaire, remember, our sponsors for the show have very kindly been sponsoring us, and we've been really grateful for that. And they've been giving us these games to give away. And a couple of days ago, I ran a competition telling you to submit your videos, and we've had so many in that I've managed to get another game out of the guys, right? And uh, we're going to give this one away now. Um, take a look at these video clips, um, you know, some great suggestions in there, and uh, tell me what you think. I'll be with you saying James ward Prowse from Southampton, he can be a really good cover for Cazorla, and he's a really good box-to-box -box defender, and he's English, he knows the Premier League well. Hey Robbie, I think we should move to Timo Werner from RB Leipzig, he's a fast player, he's only 21 years old, and already he scored 9 goals this season, he's a proper good finisher. Ricardo Rodriguez, Wolfs Wolfsburg left back, 24 years old, Swiss international. Hey Robbie, I think we should sign Franco Vazquez from Sevilla. He can play that centre attack in mid position, but he can also drop back and play that Santi Cazola position. Not sure about his availability though, but yeah. So some great suggestions there. You know the one I like? The guy just simply said Ricardo Rodriguez, because I think there's a possibility that not now in January, but possibly... In the summer, we could be back in for Rodriguez. We were looking at him hard last summer, decided to stick with what we got in Monreal and in um, Kieran Gibbs. You get the feeling that one of those two could be on their way in the summer, particularly Kieran Gibbs. I love Kieran Gibbs. I think he's such a great player. I, th I just really think that this is a guy that, had he have been injury-free, he would be our number one left back at the club. Um, and also probably be playing left back for England, but he's just been had so many injuries over his career. And um, maybe, you know, thinking to himself, his age and everything, he'd be like, I don't want to play second fiddle no more. Maybe I'll move on. He'd get a good club, you know, there's a, you know, maybe not a top four club, possibly if he moved from Arsenal, but certainly there's clubs like, emerging clubs like Everton or clubs like that that, you know, he could do a great job for, you know, he'd get a great club. He's, he's a top player. Um, so if he moves on, I think Arsenal are going to be looking at a left back. And Ricardo Rodriguez, good mates, as the, the guy said, you know, um, Swiss, Switzerland, good mates with Granite Jacker. He just could be a player that could end up being an Arsenal player. So football billionaire on its way to you. And don't forget, if you want to get the game, um, the link is in the description below. Just click through to that. And uh, everybody on Arsenal Fan TV, it's exclusive to Arsenal Fan TV, get £10 discount. So that can't be bad. Um, thanks for watching the show and we'll be back around about the same time tomorrow.